Now a story of hope for the thousands of families afflicted by Alzheimer's. A treatment program developed here in Australia is achieving remarkable results, even helping some sufferers speak for the first time in years. The transformations that take place are phenomenal. We have residents now here who have not spoken for years. They're talking, they can talk to their families. It's extraordinary when you see it, and clearly it can happen. You'd never know it, but Elsie Grove was once desperately unhappy. Diagnosed with dementia, she'd often lash out and hadn't spoken for two years. She never talked, she was always very angry and bitter. Then a revolutionary program provided a breakthrough. The little bird's still chirping yeah. at you. Yes, lovely aren't they? We could not believe it, but after two years, Elsie started talking and her daughter just cried. Kathy Richards is the manager of Mark Moran in Little Bay, a Sydney nursing home where 80% of the residents have dementia. Their approach is deceptively simple. You really have to say, well, what is someone's background? Did they enjoy sing-alongs around the piano? Did they enjoy art? Did they enjoy going to the pub? Executive Director Mark Moran says activities which tap into residents' former lives can provide the key to unlocking memory. The transformations are, are you know, close to being miraculous. If you play music that they knew from their era when they were younger, even though they can't talk and they can't remember, they will remember every single word of that song. Elsie's aggression had partly stemmed from being unable to wander freely. Then the 84-year-old moved into the home's specially designed dementia unit. It has long hallways for wandering, a curved wall that sends them back towards the nurse's station. The nurses can see them from everywhere in the unit. The garden is secure, they can wander outside. Alex Ramsey was another resident whose dementia had left him virtually mute. But gardening and bus trips to the park gradually changed that. Go. Yeah? Is it all right? Their successful yeah. dementia program helped the home win facility of the year at an international award ceremony last week. There are real changes in the treatment of people living with dementia in nursing homes, and it's around person-centred care. John Watkins from Alzheimer's Australia, New South Wales, says while dementia can't be reversed, programs like Little Bays are bringing joy back to families. Even if it's momentary or it's for a short period of time, it's great to see mum or dad express themselves as, as they used to. About 330,000 Australians suffer from the fatal brain disease, with one in four people aged over 85 at risk. Families who care for a loved one with dementia can use techniques at home to improve their quality of life. Just take a bit of time to think through uh, what it is that you want to provide for them, what, I what it is that mum or dad like doing, and try to work it out with them. She likes painting. She likes, she likes to eat. <laughs> she used to get it. She likes to eat. If we give her something to eat, she's quite happy about that. Marie Steinfeld put wife Lizzie into care after her dementia became too much for him to manage on his own. She still has the flowers in the room I bought yesterday. Ah. For a bad day now. He visits her every day and says while she's still a bit confused, her condition seems to have improved. The other day she was sitting on a the chair there, so she saw me through the window. <laughs> like that with her arms open to see me, you know. The family came and said, we've got mum back, and we just said that. And that's that's what our staff create. They generate that those, those types of moments. We're now seeing residents that have been living with dementia now talking, happy, singing, outside gardening in the fresh air and living a fulfilling life. And you can go to our website for more information about the program and about Alzheimer's.